Hey guys, I'm out here in Reno, Nevada, basically the desert to test out this all new Ram TRX. This is the truck that we've been waiting for Ram to build because this is the Hellcat powered Ram that's supposed to go head to head with the Ford Raptor. That's right, you guys know the Ford Raptor. It's been the king of the segment for the last decade or so. And to show off this new truck, Ram has actually brought out a Ford Raptor for us to kind of compare. Now this video will be in addition to the full review that I review or that I do on this truck. So be sure to wait for that video to post on October 23rd at midnight. But since I have the two baddest versions of off-road trucks you can buy today, I thought I'd actually compare the cars and show you guys all the differences between the Ram TRX and a 2020 Ford Raptor. So in addition to all the modifications that Ford has always made to the Raptor to make it more of an off-road ready Baja truck, the other cool thing about the Raptor is it's always had a unique engine compared to the rest of the F-150 lineup. This is the most powerful version of Ford's EcoBoost V6. It's a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 that makes 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. It all goes out through a 10-speed automatic transmission, four-wheel drive with a low-range transfer case is of course standard equipment. Raptors weigh, the Super Crew at least weighs around 5,700 pounds and fuel economy is rated at 15 in the city, 18 on the highway. This thing has roughly 11.6 inches of ground clearance. Now that engine is great. It's a really powerful engine, at least until you walk over and take a look at the Ram because FCA practically is throwing or firing shots over at Ford with the Ram TRX because unlike the Ford, which has a twin turbo V6, this baby has a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. That's right, this engine is the same 6.2 liter monster that we find under all the Hellcat powered vehicles. And it makes 702 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. That's a whopping 252 more horsepower over the Raptor. So Ford, your V6 is cute, but this is the big V8 and it's one that enthusiasts are really excited about. Now, I can't talk about how it drives just yet because there is an embargo on driving impressions, but I will be comparing the sound check because obviously this has the big V8. It all goes out through an eight speed automatic transmission, four wheel drive with a low range transfer case is of course standard and fuel economy. Ram hasn't even announced it yet. The engine cover <laughs> <laughs> because fuel economy isn't available yet as of this filming. The truck is significantly heavier though. The Ram weighs around 6,300 pounds. So it's about 600 pounds heavier than the Raptor. Now, the cool thing about this thing is there's a cool, there's a great little Easter egg underneath the hood here. When I remove this cover, you can see there's a, there's a Velociraptor that's being eaten by a T-Rex because that's where Ram wants you to know the hierarchy is with the Ram TRX. You can even say the TRX maybe even stands for Tyrannosaurus Rex. So obviously their unique engines is what makes them a lot more different versus the standard trucks. But what about the styling? That's also an area where the Ford Raptor has always been very successful. I mean, just look at this thing. It's been on sale for about six years now. There's a new version that's coming, but you have to admit this is still one bad ass looking truck. It looks especially way more menacing than any other F-150 in the lineup. You can really tell just how much wider the Raptor is. In fact, this is about 86 inches wide. It's about six inches wider than a standard F-150. You can see it's got a crap ton of ground clearance, about two inches more versus the standard F-150. Ford rates it at around 11.6 inches. It's got a unique suspension. It's got these special off-road tuned shocks because you wanna be able to take this thing on high speed runs out on the deserts. You can see it's got big uh, BF Goodrich all-terrain tires, which really gives this thing the off-road capability and the looks that people love about Raptors. And just look at the styling. You've got this massive grill with the Ford logo spelled out through the center. You've got standard, or you've got available LED headlights. My tester, of course, has the optional uh, ones. I like the blue exterior color with the Raptor graphics package. There are some hood scoops over here, which are functional. This helps to extract heat out from underneath the, the hood to cool up the engine, of course. And this thing has really aged extremely well. Now in comparison, the Ram TRX, I have to say, doesn't look quite as bad as the Raptor. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because the Ram in general, this generation came out back in 2019, is a really aggressive looking truck. This essentially builds off of the Ram Rebel, but of course it is a staggering eight inches wider versus a standard Ram. That's right, you thought the Raptor was wide at 86 inches. This thing? is 88 inches wide. So it's one of the widest vehicles that you can drive on the road today. And just like the Raptor, you've got functional uh, vents. In fact, this hood vent over here accounts for 50% of the air that the supercharged V8 needs. The other 50% comes through the grill here. You can see the flow through Ram badge is unique to the TRX model and the Ram 
TRX also has more ground clearance, 11.8 inches, so slightly more versus the Raptor. Ram actually says there's about five skid plates total underneath here to help protect the undercarriage. You have uh, Goodyear all-terrain Wrangler tires instead of the BF Goodrich that Ford puts on the Raptor, and you also have special off-road shocks. Ram basically says that they put, put a Raptor through some rigorous off-road testing where it broke, however, their Ram did not. So of course, we're gonna talk about that in my full review of this truck, but as you can see, the TRX only comes as a crew cab configuration. Uh, if you're gonna look at the specs, the Raptor is available as a super cab as well. I'm not entirely sure if Ford's gonna continue that for the next generation, but you can see it's got 18 inch wheels. These are 35 inch tall tires. Uh, an optional beadlock wheel is also available. Same thing with the Raptor. You can see FCA basically copied Ford in that regard. But if you're wondering which truck is actually bigger, that goes to the Ram. This is 232.9 inches long. It's an inch longer than the Raptor. However, its wheelbase is about an inch shorter versus the Raptor at 145 inches long versus 146 inches long. Now I want to show you guys really quick the rear of these trucks because they both actually have dual exhaust tips. Um, the Raptor has the same style dual exhaust tips. However, the Ram's tips are a little bit larger. They're five inches in diameter. Uh, and this is probably the one that's gonna sound better. So we're gonna do a sound check in just a moment, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think is actually the better looking truck. They both have roughly a five foot, seven inch long bed. This is the longest bed you can get with the crew cab configuration. The Raptor, remember, also offers a super cab configuration. So I won't be able to drive these two trucks because of the embargo on driving impressions on the TRX, but let's do a sound check because that's been the biggest complaint about this generation Raptor since it came out about five years ago. Yeah, it's definitely uh, very weak in that department. It's a shame that Ford got rid of the 6.2 liter V8. Now, my camera guy's heading over to the Ram because remember, this has the Hellcat V8. It's got a five inch dual exhaust tip. Let's hear how this thing sounds, shall we? Hold on, let me get closer. Okay. Holy crap. Sorry, Ford guys. It looks like you're gonna be a little embarrassed in a rev battle with the TRX. <laughs> now for the interior of these two trucks, I'm gonna start with the Raptor. And this will just be a really brief overview because I've already done a full review on the Raptor. Remember, this generation is ending production. There's a new Raptor coming out very soon. But as you can see, stepping inside this current Raptor, it definitely is starting to look a little bit old. Um, this generation in general, wasn't really known for offering a very luxurious cabin. When I come over here and I shut the door, it has a relatively solid sound to the thunk. Here's the forward key fob uh, for the vehicle. You can see it does include a remote start. It even says Raptor on the key. When you start the vehicle up, you can see it's got a unique set of Raptor specific gauges. The steering wheel is also slightly different, uh, which is nice. The engine, you guys heard, doesn't sound all that impressive, so it's kind of a disappointment, especially for you guys trading out of your 6.2 liter V8 Raptors. The interior itself, you can see, is filled with some decent materials when you look at the base models of these trucks. However, at the fully hot, hot loaded version, this truck in general is over $70,000, like for like this one here. You can see it's got Sync um, 3 over here. It's got an eight inch touchscreen. It does include Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. When you put the vehicle into reverse, there is a full 360 camera. The graphics and resolution isn't wonderful. This is an older system that Ford uses. They've got a much clearer graphic that you can find in other vehicles for sure. And there's a lot of buttons and knobs in here. So two volume knobs, you've got dual zone climate control. You've got your four wheel drive switch over here. You've got this big shifter for the 10 speed automatic. It does have lane departure alert. It also has active steering assist. It's got adaptive cruise control, automatic braking. The Bang & Olufsen sound system actually has a pretty decent sound. I believe it has 14 speakers or so, the Ram, has a little bit more. And the materials, you can see, they are soft touch injection molded plastic, um, but this is a faux stitching here. This down here is also hard touch plastic. And the seats, they are specific to the Raptor. Uh, my tester doesn't have like an optional uh, blue interior package that you can get on some of the other trim levels. They do hold you in place a little bit better. Ford also offers this big twin panel moonroof. Um, there's a massive center console storage area over here. Um, but overall, the interior isn't really what I would call luxurious. It is also not quite as differentiated as I would like it to be from the other F-150 models. But let me hop into the back seats. The back seat of the Raptor offers a pretty good amount of space because this is based off of the crew cab. Ford says you get around 43 inches of legroom back here. 
which as you can see, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people will use these trucks as family vehicles because these seats fold up where you can kind of store stuff underneath here. There's a little bit of storage. You can also um, pull the seat back down, which you just pull this lever here. That allows the seat to come down. Getting back here, you can see crap ton of space back here at five foot seven, flat floor back here so you can fit three people across. Ford gives you an actual power outlet there, two USBs and you have heated rear seats. And then material quality is hard touch plastic here, which is the same as what you find on the front seats. Uh, but overall, you can't argue with the F-150 or the Raptor, the back seat is pretty practical. Now moving into the interior of the Ram TRX, if you guys are familiar with the new generation of Ram interior, this is one of the nicest cabins you're gonna find in the pickup truck segment for now, uh, until at least the new F-150 comes out, which will be later this year. Now this TRX model that I'm sitting in has the TRX2 upgrade package. So it's kind of like their luxury package. It's like an additional $8,000, but you do get these upgraded leather bucket seats, which are heated and cooled, just like in the Raptor, you have two person memory as well. But as a, at a glance, you can see the Ram's interior definitely has a more luxury car feel. The TRX tube upgrade package is based off of the Ram Limited, which gives you genuine stitching on the dashboard along the entire dashboard. Uh, my tester also has an upgraded carbon fiber package, which the Raptor also had as well. But the carbon fiber in this car looks a little bit more upscale, a little bit more convincing. When you shut the door, you have a nice solid sounding thunk. I think it sounds better than the uh, Raptor. And you can see real leather stitching along the door panels, real carbon fiber. It all looks very expensive. Starting the truck up. You can hear the engine reminds you that it has a special engine, unlike the Raptor, which just sounds like any other EcoBoost V6. The key, you can see it's got that SRT specific key where it's got a red little outline on the TRX badge, although it's not a complete red key, but the engine. You can hear the supercharger whine in this truck. That's just fantastic. So this is instantly winning the sound check, even when you just get into the truck and try it out uh, for the first time. Now, the rest of this cabin, you can see the big 12 inch display is standard on the um, TRX. Ford apparently did add that, of course, for the next generation Raptor. We're gonna have to wait, of course, to you know test that out. Uh, Ram also added this shifter here that controls the eight speed auto. When I put the vehicle into reverse, you can see the backup camera. I wish it took up the entire screen, but it is a much higher quality resolution. So I'm really happy to see something like that. See all your different controls are in the screen here, whereas the Ford had more hard physical buttons. Ram has replaced that, of course, with the touch sensitive screen. The steering wheel is also unique to the TRX. It's the first truck that has a flat bottom wheel, I believe. Uh, the gauges also are unique to the TRX. There's a TRX specific badge on the 120 mile per hour speedometer. Um, the steering wheel itself has paddle shifters, which is nice. Um, and I really like the suede Alcantara. It just adds to that uh, qualityness. And you can see real leather over here. Ram also throws in a couple of cool Easter eggs. This plaque is gonna come on every single one that you buy that shows one, or, or it shows the specs of the vehicle, the VIN, how much boost pressure the supercharger is putting out. See the center console is pretty big. Uh, just like the Raptor, there's a good amount of storage over here, which is of course nice. This also has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The seats are also specific to the TRX model, which does let in, or does feel a little bit more aggressive. And Ram also added this nice digital review mirror, and you have a nice heads up display, which is an FCA uh, first. Now in terms of roominess, I don't really, I'd say they're both pretty equal. Uh, the Raptor, to me, feels like it sits a little bit higher versus the Ram. It feels kind of like I'm sitting a little bit lower, but you do have that really nice power bulge uh, in the hood, which is going to make a lot of people happy. Now, the back seat of the TRX, you can see, is also because this is based off of the crew cab of the Ram, you get around 45 inches of legroom, which is about two inches more than what you're going to find in the Raptor. And getting back here, you can see... The space is pretty much identical to me at five foot seven. Uh, Ram does give you heated and cooled seats back here, which you can't get on the Raptor. You have four USB ports, an actual power outlet, rear seat vents, of course, as well. The door panel you can see has real stitching back here. Uh, you have a fantastic sounding 19 speaker Harman Kardon stereo. And because my tester has the TRX2 upgrade package, you also have this awesome panoramic sunroof. So trying to choose a winner between these two trucks is really gonna come down to your personal preference. Obviously, because I haven't driven the Ram TRX yet, I can't comment how, the, how this truck drives. However, I have driven the Raptor, and I've always liked the way the Raptor drives. It has 450 horsepower and 0 to 60 in around 5.1 seconds. It makes it one of the quickest accelerating trucks that you can buy. Now, Ram says that'll get to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Now, if you're looking to find driving impressions on that truck, be sure to come back on October 23rd at midnight, where I'll upload a full review on just the TRX TRX alone, where Ram has set up this awesome off-road course where you can test out its capabilities. But if you're gonna ask me right now which one I would choose, 
Obviously, I'm going to want the newer truck, the one that has 700 horsepower that sounds completely bad. Now, I will say that the Raptor has aged extremely well and it is significantly cheaper. This one here is $75,000, fully loaded basically, while that Ram over there is $10,000 more. You're looking at around $85,000 and you could option up a Ram to be over $90,000 if you add every single option that this truck has minus the Mopar accessories. Now, is the Ram worth the extra $10,000, $15,000? That's really gonna be up to the owner to decide or somebody who's in the market who actually has that amount of money to spend. But you can't deny the fact that it's pretty awesome that we have two of these badass off-road ready trucks and one of them has over 700 horsepower. So what a time we live in. But with all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this comparison between the Ford Raptor, of course, and the all-new Ram TRX. If you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews. Like us on Facebook. And as always, guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.